Fear is a tool of a man-made devil. Self-confident faith in oneself is both the man-made weapon which defeats this devil and the man-made tool which builds a triumphant life. It is more than that. It is a link to the irresistible forces of the universe which stand behind a man who does not believe in failure and defeat as being anything but temporary experiences. I have read over 70 books so far and there's only a couple of books that I've read that are actually worth rereading and are actually like I look at it and I'm like I'm glad I spent this amount of money on this book and that quote that I just read to you in the beginning is from the book that I think can change anybody's life Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill now I read this book in the middle of last year and let me tell you this book literally opened my eyes this book definitely can change anybody's life it can definitely open anybody's eyes if they allow themselves to read this book and digest basically the wisdom that it has and so it's basically an interview that napoleon hill has with the devil he basically it's kind of like a q a type of book where he basically asks him questions and napoleon asked the devil a lot of questions about how he takes control of the world how he takes control of people's lives because the devil himself in the book says that he takes control of i think like 98 percent of people in the population and so napoleon hill asked him what does he do how does what tactics what tricks does he use to control people's lives for instance one of the ways that the devil says that he controls people's lives is by using fear and he says that there are six fears that he uses to control people's lives let me just go over them real quick for you the fear of poverty the fear of criticism the fear of ill health the fear of loss of love the fear of old age and the fear of death these are the six fears that the devil says he uses to take control of people's lives and basically make sure that they never actually live a fulfilled satisfied life he makes sure that he uses these fears so that people live in constant anxiety constant depression making sure that they're not happy with themselves the point of the book is basically for the reader to become aware of the ways that the evil forces try to control your life now that you know that you do the opposite of what he uses what he uses to control you and then now you could live a more satisfied more fulfilled life that's basically the point of this book now here's the craziest thing about this book right this is how impactful i think the book is and i think a lot of people are aware of at this point this book was written by napoleon hill in 1938 but it was released in the public so people could read in 2011 so think about that i think i have to do the math real quick that's like what 73 83 years later if i'm not doing the you know if i believe i'm doing the math right 83 years later the family ends up releasing the book the reason why this happened is because back then when he wrote this book the people who you know were around him said that it was going to be too controversial for him to release the things that he writes in this book is not only about the six fears that the devil uses to control people's lives and the tactics is also about how the school system is in favor of that as well how the school system makes sure that people don't chase what they want in life and we see this nowadays today as well a lot of people go to college they succeed in school but they don't, they don't succeed in life we see a lot of people who go to college but they're still in debt they're still unhappy with their lives yet the world tells us that the american dream is to go to college get a degree get a nice secure job and then buy a house one day have a family and they make us believe that this is the way that we're going to live a happy fulfilled life we see so many people right now who live in houses who have a car who went to college got their degrees and we know that some of them or the majority of them are unhappy with their lives i know myself because i remember in school i had a teacher i told this story before she told how she was like in a hover over 100k in debt and she did everything that society that the world told her to do that was right she did everything and yet she was still unhappy she was still i mean you could tell like whenever she would come in class she would all because with like you know an unhappy face and what does that tell you she's not happy with her job she's not happy with what she chose to do in life and so this whole thing about going with society about doing what the world thinks is right for you is not the way to go anymore and so this book exposes a lot of those things which is why back then when he wrote it he didn't release it because it was going to be too controversial for the world back then especially like it talks about the ways you know whatever's happening right now in america you guys know those of you who live in america you guys know that we're living in a way different like you know we're living in tough crazy times right now in america and he actually explains the things that are happening right now in america in this book right here which is kind of crazy because he wrote this in 1938 now like i said in this book right here napoleon has a conversation with the devil and he basically asks him questions of how he makes sure that he's in control of people's lives and he makes sure that people are living in constant anxiety depression and the devil actually reveals a way that he does this in page 113 i'm going to read you guys a couple of the lines right here so i can show you guys and this section specifically talks about men now here's a question that napoleon asked the devil 
He says, yes, I admit your method is very clever, but what happens if the victim fools you and gets his hands on a lot of money? You don't fill his mind with fear of poverty then, do you? And the devil answers by saying, no, I don't. I take over the space by filling it with something which serves my purpose just as well. If my victim converts his desire for money into large sum, I start overfeeding him with things he can buy with. For example, I cause him to stuff himself with rich foods. This slows down his thinking capacity, endangers his heart, and starts him in the road to drifting. Now, if you guys don't know what drifting is, Napoleon Hill calls a person who's drifting someone who basically is running with life with no purpose, no goals, no direction. He's just waking up every single day, doesn't know what he's doing with his life. That's a person who Napoleon Hill calls a drifter. Then I posture him with intestinal poisoning through the surplus foods he eats. This also slows down his thinking and gives him a nasty disposition. Then Napoleon Hill asks him, what if the victim is not a glutton? What other follies can you induce him to pick up that led to drifting? Then the devil responds by saying, if the victim is a male, I can usually snare him through his sex appetite. Overindulgence in sex starts more men to drifting towards failure than all other causes combined. So that section right there explains one of the ways that he takes control of men's lives right there with overindulging in food, which right now we are seeing a big increase in people who are obese. People are not controlling the way they eat, how much they're eating, and also the overindulgence in sex. We see a lot of guys who can't control their sex appetite. They can't control themselves when it comes to women. And so they lose focus on what's important in life. They lose focus on their goals and then they end up being 40 years old 50 years old with like 10 baby mamas and they can't even accomplish their goals no more because they have so many responsibilities because they couldn't control themselves when they were younger now like i said in the beginning this book really opened my eyes because it made me realize a lot of things not only about how he uses fear to control your life but also how he uses other tactics to make sure that you don't get to where you want to get to in life now after reading this book you're going to realize that napoleon hill is very big on faith and the devil himself is very big on fear. He actually wants you to believe in fear. And the crazy thing as well, I actually heard a quote that was really like eye-opening. It's actually from Bob Proctor. He said, faith and fear both demand you to believe in something you cannot see. You have to choose. You cannot see faith and you cannot see fear. Yet at the end of the day, you're living a life with either one of those two. Either you're living a life in fear or you're living a life in faith. And those two things require you to believe in something that you cannot see. Now, this book not only has opened my eyes when I read it, but it also has opened other people's eyes as well. Like I told you guys before, I actually wrote this in my newsletter, which by the way, if you guys are not subscribed to that, is 100% free. You can go and subscribe to it right now. Link is down below. My cousin actually was asking, was interested more in self-improvement. And so she basically wanted me to recommend her a couple of books that was about self-improvement that actually helped my life. And that first book that I recommended her is this book right here, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. And she read it. And after she read it, which was like two weeks later, she told me that, it really opened her eyes like it really shifted her mindset a lot she started to look at her life a lot differently she started looking at her friends a lot differently like she even told me this one time that she was reading this at her job while she was during break she was having lunch and she was reading it and one of her like managers or one of her bosses came up to her and she asked her like you know what are you reading and basically the point is the managers was kind of like oh like you know why are you reading the, those type of books or why are you reading that like you know we all like in our self improvement journey we all face those people who are like you know find it weird that we're like trying to improve our lives well that was the case with her her manager whoever it was was like finding it weird that she was reading a book like this and so basically she said that this book really changed her mindset it changed the way she looked at her life and she said that she started to make changes in her life and this is one of those books that if it were to cost fifty dollars i would still recommend people to buy even though it doesn't cost fifty dollars it costs like 20 something i think like 20 dollars or something like that it can really change anybody's perspective on their life the things that they're doing right now that are not good for them the tactics that the devil uses himself to take control of your life maybe you read this book and you realize damn maybe the devil is you know controlling your life because you're living in fear constantly you can't accomplish your goals because you're constantly living in fear that you're not going to accomplish anything you fear you know poverty you fear ill health you fear you know criticism you fear all these things that the devil uses himself so that he makes sure that you do not live a satisfied happy life i highly recommend you guys read this book it costs like i said around 20 dollars instead of buying things that you do not need that you probably you know you look at yourself in a room right now and you probably have some things that you do not even use anymore that you wasted so much money on instead of spending money on that start investing in yourself Start spending money on your own self, on your own education, on wisdom that you can use in your life so that you can change your life and change the lives of others around you. But anyways, that's all I got to say. I'm out.